All right, so this is more so, um, and it's honestly, before I begin this recording, it's extremely sad that, for one, I had to change my best friend's name to his alias, because Linda's a, a, a an evil witch. But as you can see, these are some long voice clips that I will be recording, and this will be going on YouTube just to ensure that I, I'll be able to download it again and play it out loud in the event that Linda tries to claim that me or my father killed my mom, which is not the case. Um, and it's sad that it had to come to this. I haven't even been able to grieve my mother yet because I've been making constant phone calls about about regarding Linda and making sure that she won't get access to my mom's money. And actually, this video isn't going to go up, nor is the video of me changing the locks at the house or the, the, the one hour long story time finale. Those videos will not go up until the death certificate has been produced, until the guardianship has been closed, and until, because tomorrow I'm actually going to my mom's trust lawyer and signing paperwork to verify that everybody who is on that trust still stays on the trust. If Linda's on there, she'll be removed, and uh, the executor of the will will be verified, and I will make sure that Linda does not gain access to my mom's money. And furthermore, we actually just got a lawyer from Buffalo, one of the, I'm not going to say his name, but one of the most renowned lawyers in Buffalo is now representing me and my mom's friends and my dad to get Linda. So as soon as my mom's funeral is over, as soon as we have the death certificate and as soon as my guardianship is closed, this will go up and I guarantee Linda will see it. And Linda, you better fucking shit your goddamn pants because you're fucked. But this is the voice clips and I will just be playing them and uh, not saying a word until it's over. Well, I just got done uh, sending a voice clip to one of my other friends because he sent me a voice clip saying he was sorry about my mom. And what I said to him, I'm about to say to you, um, I hope you never, ever have to uh, see what I saw. Because... To put it lightly, it's straight out of uh, out of a horror movie. I mean, I didn't even walk fully into my mom's hospital room, and I got a look at her, and I started freaking out, dude. And the nurse calmed me down, assured me that it's part of life, which I understood anyways. But you know, I was just I was in disbelief. Um, and like, just like when a person dies, obviously they lose all control of their muscles. Her jaw was wide open. Her eyes were half shut, half open. And like, you know, the face that somebody makes when they're like concerned, like they raise their eyebrows, dude, her eyebrows were raised, were raised, bro. I mean, it, it was so unbelievably disturbing. And like, in the two weeks I had visited prior to her dying, obviously she's hooked up to a lot of IVs and machines. And when I walked into that room for the last time, it was dead fucking silent, bro. I mean, dead silent. But if we look at it in a positive light, my mom had an artificial heart valve for 20 years, took blood thinners, had atrial fibrillation, which is a heart disease. When she died, she weighed 80 fucking pounds, bro. And she was thin as a piece of paper. And this is all thanks to Linda. I didn't get my guardianship till December 21st. She lasted a month, bro. A fucking month. And... And, and, and two weeks of that was in the hospital, in the ICU. She, at the end, she couldn't breathe on her own. And I'm not sure if you're familiar with, with what scoliosis is, but it's where your spine curves. She had extreme scoliosis. I looked at the x-rays. Her spine was in the shape of, a, of an S, bro. Like a literal S. It was not like a little bit. It was in the shape of a fucking S, bro. And the doctors even said that was complicating her life. So I knew that she was going to die at least in the next month. But, dude, 
get this. She died 15 minutes after my dad and I got to the hospital, got to the, um, the hotel. And we got the call that she died. And, uh, but the way I look at it, dude, she's finally at peace. She doesn't have to live through this nightmare anymore. This nightmare that fucking Linda put her through. So, so yeah. And lest we forget that throughout my mom's life with a heart valve, which was put in in 1999, two years before she adopted me and I was born, um, she's had two major strokes on top of what I already mentioned in the last fucking voice clip. And in the two weeks before she died, so so the reason why she ended up in the hospital was because she was in a, a nursing home, and you know how nursing homes go. They're neglectful. They're terrible. They're, they're, they're fucking awful. And I'm actually going to screen record these two voice clips I sent you because uh, I'm going to upload it to my YouTube channel so people know that it, I wasn't the one who was neglecting my mom. Linda had neglected my mom to a point where her health deteriorated so bad on top of what she already had that she died because of Linda and not me and my dad. We did not fucking kill her, bro. I had guardianship for a month before she went in the hospital. So a month and a half. In the last two weeks, it was, was, I mean, 100% out of my hands. And the lawyers, the lawyers were taking forever with, um, with getting the funds released so we could bring my mom back up to New York, which it wouldn't have mattered anyways because I think she would have died because, let me also say this, the last time I saw my mom in New York was back when I was in Casnovia Manor in the summer of 2023 before she flew down to Florida and all this fucking shit happened. Even back then, dude, she could barely walk without losing her breath, and she was pretty pretty thin. Not as thin, thin as when she died, but she was fucking thin, dude, because she had a, a stroke in the part of her brain that affects her eating. That was the last stroke she had. She also had a major stroke in 2009, which they had to take out a part of her her skull because when spinal fluid and blood mixes the brain swells up and if you don't take the skull out to let it you know swell out it will kill you if you don't take a piece of your skull out to give the brain space to swell and that's what happened with my mom I took a piece of her skull out put it in her stomach like like they, they opened up her abdomen and stuck a piece of her skull in it so her, her body would recognize the piece of skull and it would deteriorate and be, become useless. And then when her brain finally stopped swelling, they reattached it and she lived through that. I mean, she's lived through so much fucking shit, bro. But anyways, in the last, uh, in the last two weeks, so back to what I was saying in this nursing facility, they hadn't checked on her in two weeks. And my, my mom's friend, called and said you guys need to check on her have you been checking on her they said yes but that was a flat-out lie because they went and checked on her and they immediately discharged her to the hospital and told the hospital that my mom is not allowed back in that facility and the reason they did that is because they realized they fucked up saw that my mom was on the edge of death and didn't want to be responsible for her to die when she got to the hospital, she was diagnosed with RSV, which is like a, a, a lung virus, which fills your lung with lungs with phlegm. And she also had pneumonia on top of that because of this fucking nursing facility. And uh, two days after she went to the hospital, she was just in the regular care unit. Her heart stopped beating. And that's what ended her up in the ICU, which is the intensive care unit. They, they gave her a shot of adrenaline, I believe, and they got her heart beating again. And uh, she was in that same exact room where she died in those last two weeks, from like mid-January to 
a couple of days ago and she died. More is coming next. And uh, to end it all, my mom, her heart, like so, when when your heart pumps, it pumps out and in at the same time. The blood going out was pumping okay, but her her blood intake was at 15% with the aid of medications, with, with, with blood pressure raising medications. Even with the medications, her heart was at 15%. Um, every time they took the ventilator out, which was helping her breathe, she failed, which they did about five times. They tested her. One day, she lasted two hours without it, but she, bottom of the line, she couldn't last without it. She, she, was, she would have died, bro. And, uh, man, my hand's hurting from holding down this voice clip for this long. But, uh, I love my mom, and I miss her. But I just want to let you know, I, I'm doing this for two reasons. One, to let you know the situation, because you're my best friend, and, and I trust you with this information. And two, I want to screen record this voice clips, which I will do tomorrow. And uh, just in case somebody tries to claim that it was me or my dad, because we didn't kill her, bro. Linda put her in the situation where she deteriorated to a point where she, she just couldn't hold on any longer. <clears throat> and uh, she died, bro. She's gone. And since I'm screen recording these voice clips, um, I'm going to state this at the very end. I know for a fact that Linda is going to try and say, well, why didn't you, you and Kurt, you know, you being the guardian, meaning me, and Kurt being the healthcare proxy, put her in a better facility? Well, for one, like I said earlier, we didn't have access to money, like, like my mom's money, which needed to pay for that. And Linda was the one. And the reason why... And Linda's going to say, oh, well, if I had control and you guys hadn't taken my power, Gail wouldn't wouldn't have died. Lest we forget, Linda is the one, and I can I, I am a witness to this, whether there's evidence or not. Linda is the one who told me that she was she herself was going to stick my mom in hospice and let her waste away. At least my dad and I tried to give her a quality of life, which was robbed from her regardless because she fucking died. And even if my mom had somehow lived, she would not have been the same. She would not have had a quality of life. She was 80 pounds when she died, bro. So the bottom line is my dad and I are not fucking responsible for what happened to my mom. At all. It, it was the nursing home. It was Linda. And it was... Unfortunately, she, my mom was living on what's called borrowed time. I'm honestly shocked she made it as far as she did because towards the end there, it, it was bad, bro. It was, it was bad. And that's all I got to say. Sorry I blew you up. And, and Linda is also going to try to claim that we killed her by not resuscitating her. Well, there's two things I have to say about that. One is my mom signed a medical power of attorney back in July of 2023 when she was first admitted to the hospital when she had fallen and hit her head and had a brain bleed. That's another thing that happened to my mom. My mom, I'm, I'm so shocked my mom lived through as much as she did, bro. She was a fighter till the very end, but anyways... My mom had a brain bleed and a urinary tract infection, which which is what originally landed my mom in the hospital and what gave Linda the opportunity to take advantage of her. And what's funny is actually when Linda tried to get the power of attorney signed the first time, people were calling adult protective services on her and trying to and trying to call the cops. And Linda took my mom out of the hospital, got the power of attorney signed, and then got her back into a facility. I mean, Linda's a shady fucking bitch. A cunt, a slime ball, a slug. But bottom line is, my mom 
signed that DNR. DNR is do not resuscitate. She she stated that if her if her, her quality of life was not going to be good, she did not want to be brought back to life. So and she signed off on that and we have the paperwork to prove it. The hospital printed it out for us in case Linda tried to come after us. And to add to that, my mom was so frail, brittle, and thin. When they do CPR, they have to pound on your chest. And if they had done that, even the hospital told us that it would for sure break her rib, her rib cage, which would have put her in even more agony. So Linda's a fucking piece of shit for trying to... And what's even funnier is... In the months before I got the guardianship, Linda was praising my dad and I. And, and my mom's friends have text message proof of that. And then as soon as I got guardianship, all that changed. All Linda is is power hungry, greedy, and guilty. And she's trying to – she's grasping at strings – throwing darts, hoping one will stick in an attempt to cover her ass, which is unsuccessful, and it won't happen. She will she will be found guilty of this shit. So, yeah, I'm just doing this for you to hear, but also as a uh, as a voice uh, recording, because this is some, this is, this is the truth. All of what I said in these one, two, three, four, now five voice clips is the events as they happened. I apologize, guys. Uh, I don't know if you can hear that or not. I hope it's not disrupting the clips, because uh, this is very important information. But there's a fucking dog that won't shut the fuck up. So I'm sorry if you hear that the whole time. And finally, with I just I keep remembering things that I want to add to this because it's important that I add in details to this. When the medical power of attorney was signed, which is the copy we ha we have today. Even after my dad was made the healthcare proxy later on, when this medical power of attorney was originally signed, and my mom said that if her quality of life was not to be good, she did not want to be resuscitated. Linda was the one who was in power during the time. Like Linda had the healthcare medical power of attorney when uh, when that was signed. So her argument that like we were the ones who killed her. And just think about it. This bitch is so fucking insane. My dad lived with me and my mom for almost 10 years before they split up. And I've lived with my mom my whole life. And she and Linda really has the balls to claim that we that we're the ones who intentionally killed her. Are you fucking kidding me, bro? When when I walked in that hospital room and saw my mom's lifeless body, I have never. I'm sorry about that. I, I, I don't know why <laughs> it does that. And finally, with I, I, just, I keep remembering things that I want to add to this because it's important that I add in details to this. When the medical power of attorney was signed, which is the copy we, ha we have today, <clears throat> even after my dad was made the healthcare proxy later on, when this medical power of attorney was originally signed and my mom said that if her quality of life was not to be good, she did not want to be resuscitated. Linda was the one who was in power during the time. Like Linda had the healthcare medical power of attorney when, uh, when that was signed. So her argument that like we were the ones who killed her and, and just think about it. This bitch is so fucking insane. My dad lived with me and my mom for almost 10 years before they split up. And I've lived with my mom my whole life. And she and Linda really has the balls to claim that, we, that we're the ones who intentionally killed her. Are you fucking kidding me, bro? When, when I walked in that hospital room and saw my mom's lifeless body, I have never cried or felt emotion the way I felt emotion in that room that night a couple nights ago I've words can't even describe how lost upset alone and disturbed I am from all of this 
Linda fucking kite killed my mom. Whether she admits it or not. And Linda, I mean, to add even more to this, and I even called the Adult Protective Services lady just to confirm this. But uh, she did confirm it. Linda threatened... Not only has she been threatening me and my dad, but she's threatening the Adult Protective Services lady, saying that 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 the Adult Protective Services lady will, will quote-unquote lose her job because she also was aiding in, in my mom's death. I mean, Linda Kite is the definition of a psychotic, sociopathic, psychopathic criminal. I mean, she is, Linda is a fucking psychopath who lacks empathy for others and, and fakes her way through claiming that she has empathy for others. She, she, I can't believe I sided with Linda for as long as I did because I've never liked Linda, to be honest. I always found something weird about her, you know? It's just, it's weird. Yeah, it's fucking weird, all right. And I promise this will be the last voice clip. This will be the shortest one I send. Uh, and I'm going to leave the chat after I send this one. And, and, and let me know your thoughts when, uh, when you uh, finish listening to these. But uh, what's, even, what's even more nutty about the situation is even though it's said in her papers not to resuscitate her if her quality of life wouldn't be good, she was already resuscitated once. Against her wishes. Because I'll tell you, whatever Linda tries to claim, it's bullshit. Because my mom's quality of life, at, even at that point, two weeks before she died when she was originally resuscitated, her, her she did not have a quality of life. She would have never, she would have been a vegetable till the day she died, bro. A fucking vegetable. Linda's fucking psychotic. It, that's the bottom line of all this. Linda's literally a fucking psychopath. Alright, that's the end of the voice messages. Um, everything I said in there is not only true, but if you don't find this whole situation disturbing, then you yourself are also emotionless psychopath. I want to add a couple more things to end before I end this video. And I, I say this all the time, but I mean it. Lest we forget, lest we forget, that before all of this happened, probably a couple months before my mom flew down to Florida, Linda Kite's daughter, Jessica Bushart, and her husband, Linda Kite's daughter's husband, Marcus Bushart, because obviously Linda was working for my mom at that time, so... My mom was, and my mom was a sweetheart and just instinctive, instinctively trusted most people. So, of course, she allowed Jessica, Linda, and Marcus to be in the house. Well, Jessica and Marcus took my mom's checkbook and proceeded to forge multiple checks, making money out to them. There's a couple things I'm going to say about that. One, nothing was done about it. Legally, which is why, like I mentioned in the beginning of this video, why we're just going to make sure that Linda is not in the trust and that the trustee is is guaranteed. And I will be signing those papers tomorrow as me being my mom's next of kin and only heir to her her, her uh, estate. But uh, I don't, I, truthfully, and I hate to admit this, maybe it'll happen, but I doubt that Linda will be charged with anything because of how the laws work nowadays ever since COVID started. And people just keep getting softer and softer. I doubt it. Because Linda's daughter should have been thrown in jail for like 40 years. For how many how many forged signatures she, she fucking forged. And nothing was done about it. The second thing I want to say about that. Is the apple does not fall. There's a saying. The apple does not fall far from the tree. If Jessica did that. It's not. It didn't like. <laughs> When Linda started doing this shit, it did not surprise me. There's actually two more things I'm going to say after this. Two, three, three separate things about Jessica. This next one is that I, 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 I it, it shocks me. 
in those voice clips I mentioned that Linda, so basically here's, here's what happened. In, in an attempt to cover her ass back in September and October when Linda still had the power of attorney, she, she would send paragraphs, text messages to my mom's friends praising my dad, which is my mom's ex-boyfriend and significant other, and me praising us, saying how, 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 how such great people we, we are. And then the second Linda found, and here's another funny thing. When Linda found out that I had guardianship, she originally tried to claim that that's not the real Shane. She was trying to claim that that the lawyers who made the guardianship put a fake person in place. I mean, between all the power of attorney videos I made and everything that you know about this, if you really study this stuff, Linda's a fucking like like delusional person. And I thought I had a little bit of mental problems. Oh my god, bro. Linda's like Linda literally is an emotionless psychopath. Um It's just it's just astounding that Linda Kite can claim that I'm the one that my dad who lived with my mom for 10 years and loved her dearly and her only son who she raised and loved and and I loved her back that that we killed her she's fucking nuts and she's the one when she's the one who took my mom's phone and and this is the other thing my godfather who was the executor of the will Rick Rutkowski actually visited my mom's house that Linda's squatting in the day she died like literally like hours before my mom died when it was still sunny out and she told Rick that my dad had stole my mom's phone and had stolen the safe. She, she keeps reiterating these fucking lies that have been already proved wrong. Even we spoke to the West Seneca Police Department. I spoke to, to Detective Foster at the West Seneca Police Department. He told me that the second Linda made her report and walked out the room, which by the way, like I mentioned in a previous Power of Attorney video, Linda was in there for two hours talking, making up lies. But Detective Foster told me and my mom's friend when we went there, he immediately, immediately threw the case out because he knew it was bullshit and that Linda was a fucking psychopath. The last thing I want to say is that Linda's going to try to claim, because it's, it is true that my dad originally did put my mom in, in the rehab that ended up, you know, getting her very sick and neglecting her. But here's two things I got to say about that. The, the first thing is that my dad had absolutely no idea that this rehab was going to be the demise of my mother, for one. For two, he had no idea what the conditions of the rehab were, which they weren't good. And number three, is the reason for, for him not knowing the first two things I just mentioned in this last section, is because when my mom was discharged from the hospital, originally, they looked everywhere for a place for her to go. And they, they, because my dad was then made the healthcare proxy after Linda was originally made the healthcare proxy when the, when the last uh, um, medical power of attorney was signed, my dad was then made the healthcare proxy later after that. He was the one who had to decide where she went. And they sprung this on him literally hours before he was to board a plane to come back to New York after he had visited my mom for a week. So he had to scramble to find a place for my mom to go. And the only bed that was available was at fucking Fort Myers Rehab Nursing Facility. Unbelievable. My dad didn't have a fucking choice. So all has been said. Thank you for watching. This shit's fucking nuts. And this is a 30 minute video. Holy fuck. Um, but fuck you, Linda, you fucking cunt. You killed my mom. But now your power of attorney is gone and my mom's fucking dead. I hope you're happy, you fucking cunt. You're a fucking cunt, dirty, psychopathic, sociopathic, psychotic, fucking nasty, rotten ham sandwich smelling fucking slug. You're a fucking bitch. And I hope, I, I, I'm not going to do it. I guarantee I won't do it because I, I ain't going to go to jail for you. But I hope, I hope that disease you have in your feet creeps up to the rest of your body and kills you, you fucking bitch. I hope you die.
Sincerely. I've never said that about anybody, but I hope you fucking die the most painful death anyone has ever died. I hope you get cancer and that disease you got, that rare disease, fucking kills you, you fucking cunt. That's all. Alright, I'm obviously going to edit this video, but, uh, me, uh, driving past my mom's house. Fucking. More like Linda's house. You know, fucking Linda type. Yeah, I just want to get a video of, uh, Not that house, not the white one, it's a different house. Oh yeah, see the seats in the windows? Oh yeah, this comes crazy though. It's a fucking nuts job for now. I mean, there's nobody there though. Good shit. That's house number one. Alright, so that last one was uh, 184 Highview Terrace. That last video, I'm gonna crop these two together and I'm not posting them until we change the locks because guess what, Linda? We just changed the locks on both the houses. And that means my lawyer's getting a call tomorrow or today to get you the fuck out of the house in Granada. But uh, right now I'm going to uh, 11 Eastwood Drive. Pulling down Eastwood right now. And uh, I'm about to see what this house looks like and what kind of shape you left in. You're fucking paranoid, Linda, putting seats in my mom's fucking window. <coughs> Idiot. Fucking dirty cunt. Dirty Linda. Get the fuck away from my mom's houses. Never come back. Because the second you break in, it's burglary. Just so you fucking know. Here it is. Moment of truth. Let's see if there's any fucking uh, cars in the driveway. No, there isn't. Alright, so the locks in this house are getting changed too then. I just want to zoom in on this right here. This is 100%. We actually called today. They said they are not going to transfer the title of the house until we give them the permission. But there's the sold sign right there. There's a clear ass video of it right here. But uh, yeah. The houses are. Uh, oh, look, look at that private property. Huh. Well, guess what? I'm coming on this property and I'm changing the locks. With these guardianship papers. But I'm actually not going to sh uh, show them on the camera. But uh, yeah, those are the guardianship papers. So fuck Linda. Sorry, but you will not be allowed to come out of the house. Jeez, I'm gonna end this with two minutes after I end this and this is Okay, bye Linda. Cunt. <coughs> this is the state that Linda has left my mom's house in. Complete and total destruction. This is the funniest part. She was smoking in my mom's house. I knew it. Smoking in my mom's house. Yeah. Let's see what's going on in here. Yeah, she's got the internet set up in here. Oh, man. Fucking, fucking, look, look it. There's a fucking leaf in this house, bro. Oh, my God. She's emptied this shit out. I'm going to take a video of the entire house. You can tell she squatted here at one point. Look at this. Look at this. This is all Linda, bro. That looks like fucking ass. Fucking disgusting, bro. Look, look, at, look at this bottle. This fucking... That's, that's my mom definitely doesn't use that shit. I'll tell you that. My room. This is my old room. Fucking stripped it bare. This is the funniest part, this bitch. Oh my god. Look at this shit, bro. Look at this little fucking nasty shit. Oh, shit. Oh, gosh. A pack of Seneca cigarettes. Yeah. Fucking dirty dishes and shit. Can't wait to get out of here just in case she calls the cops, but I'll, I'll have a, a video of the locks in there. I remember when I was here like three months ago with her. She's trying to get me to clean my mom's shit out, and this is all my mom's stuff. She put it in the basement. Like a fucking animal. Saying, quote, it's no longer needed, my mom's gonna die, and there's nothing I can do about it. Well, I'm in now. 
and you are not getting back in this house. You're out of Granada too, you fucking cunt. Get out. I didn't want to take a clear video, or I didn't take a clear video of this at all. She's got fucking grapes over, like peach over my mom's window. It's fucking crazy, dude. And there's the video of the police walking away. Ain't that something? Called the cops. Well, hey, it's all dealt with now. <laughs> fucking bitch. Yeah, she's crazy. I just had to take a video. Put your cameras down. I got them. They're not even yours. I found out they're my mom's cameras. She bought them. So they're mine now. That's where the cameras were. I just want to take a video of me locking this dump of a house that you fucking ruined up. I'm not sure exactly which key goes to which door. But he got, uh, he got the locks changed. I'm guessing, uh, that one doesn't go for that. Okay. Well, that's not even the right one. Okay. Alright. I think I got deadbolts in this bitch. By the way, Linda, six keys. Six keys. We changed the locks, Linda. Count those keys. Just saying. Let me just double check. Alright, now I'm going to run out to the car because I want these videos to be two minutes on exactly. Uh, yes, I'm going out. Because, uh, you, gotta, you guys got to see this shit, bro. So this is all my mom's paperwork. I took one of one of one of the fans. That used to be my fan. Yeah, this is all my mom's paperwork. There's got to be some good evidence in here. But look at this shit. Two cameras. Those those are two cameras right there. There's there's a remote system right there. The charger underneath this remote system is a, is a fucking that was on the door. You know that that fucking was what set it off. And then there's the, the modem. I got her, I got the fucking cameras, bro. I told you guys this bitch is fucking crazy. It's going on YouTube. Fuck this fucking cunt, bro. Hi, Linda. So as you can see in the corner, it says, uh, yesterday. These are all the phone calls I have made today. Wow, it's almost 40 phone calls. Oh, and Linda, this is going to be all one video. I'm going to crop all these <coughs> clips together in, in order of how they, they went down. I'm actually at the bank right now, and, and the guy is in there right now setting up the guardianship. And my lawyer's working on uh, getting the... Uh, Getting the paper set up so we get everything put in one bank account. So it's only one bank now. Linda, you're fucked. And we changed the locks on one house. I'm not saying when, but the other house is getting changed as well. And once those both are changed, then guess what? You're, the house in Granada is getting swatted. You're done. Alright, so I was told to take inventory of everything in this house. So... I'm pulling out all the fucking doors, everything. Looks like she fucking broke this shit. Oh, there's a, there's a picture of me. Little picture of me taking that. Shit. Alright, I'm taking that. Nothing in here. Nothing in here. I'm just making sure because this cunt can't fucking say anything about me today. This woman, excuse me. This is weird. They, they bolted in. There's nothing in here, though. There's nothing in there. You can't see nothing in there. Fucking won't bolt it at all. Um. Okay, here's the camera I set up. Let me just open this shit. Oh, that's fucking awesome. How do you open this fucking shit? Oh, that's so weird, bro. I can't even get these open now. So she fucked this house up, I'll tell you that. She, fuck, she fucking wrecked this shit. No, 
all the drawers, all of them she said. Won't say who, but I was told to open all the drawers on camera, make sure there's nothing in this house. <clears throat> nothing in the closet at all. Try to get this whole house. I'm into the basement because it's all my mom's stuff. Anyways, but like I said, I recorded this earlier. Good lord. Nasty bitch, huh? Nasty shit. Like, she drained this house. This house used to be a beautiful homestead, and now it's fucking destroyed. You fucking shit. And look at this router, bro. I have to, I have to get this on video. This, my, this is definitely paid for with my mom's money. Because this isn't the same router. When Linda took me to the house, the one, uh, probably about two, three months ago, that was not the same router. It was a different Wi-Fi, too, because my phone didn't connect right away. So I know that's your, oh, this is my, my mom's jewelry. Yeah, I gotta get this on video, too. Fucking crazy. Oh my god. She took? This is important. Look at this. This used to be full to the max with jewelry. She probably took it all and pawned it off. How much do you want to bet? See what's in here. Flowers. How much do you want to bet? I'm gonna fucking pawn my mom's jewelry. To get a little extra cash in her and her daughter's pocket. This is the worst. Oh my god. So bad though. She was just hiding something in the oven. No, she's not. Or there's something in the microwave. Oh. Oh, it's moldy as fuck. That is, I can smell the mold. You can see it's a pile of mold. It's giving me the creeps. I have to close it. I'm almost going to throw up. Oh my god. Dude, this is so fucking nasty, bro. That that was a pile of mold. I'm I'm about to throw up right now, I swear to god. Oh my god, you gotta see this fridge too. Look at this shit. Look at look at the nastiness. Look at all the mold. That's all mold right there. She's fucking disgusting, bro. She fucking trashed this house. I can't wait to get in that granada house and see how badly she trashed that. See how badly she trashed my mom's house. She left fucking food. I'm gonna puke. Where to go? Look, and this is where all my mom's fancy coats are gone too. Fancy set. Huh. I'm gonna end it for four minutes. That's the whole house, but oh my god, bro, Linda, you are you are you're fucked. I hope you realize that. You thought it was safe, but it's not. This is for the YouTube video, but yeah, there's a. Uh, I'm not gonna say what, what company this camera is in case you call. But there is a. Uh, there's a camera in here. Oh, someone's getting. A, I'm getting a call. What do you know? Probably 50 first call I've gotten today. I have to make a video of this before I rip them down. I'm gonna rip them down on camera too. <coughs> These receipts we're gonna put up in front of my mom's house and they're coming the fuck down. Look at this thumbtack. There's thumbtacks on there now. Fucking weirdo. Fucking thumbtacks in front of my mom's house. What the fuck? Oh, look, you can see out the window. Wow. Oh yeah, let me get this on camera. The last piece I forgot to show of disgusting shit. Fucking just got knocked over for some reason, but yeah. Fucking cigarette butt all over and his ass on my mom's couch. Dude, this bitch is fucked. Look at that. She can see again. Fucking nuts, fluffy fucking teeth up. Oh my god. I can't even clean this today because of how shitty it is. Oh my god, Linda. Why'd you do this? Look at how beautiful this is now. A little bit more beautiful at least. And guess what? Earlier I connected to the Wi-Fi with the password on the side of the router. And now after about two hours it's saying that the password's incorrect. Linda reset the internet. So I'm calling Spectrum tomorrow. I'm gonna add this to the end. I'm calling Spectrum tomorrow and this company as well, Simply Safe. We're gonna get the footage, we're gonna get everything. Battle up, bitch. We're going to war. Look at this shit. Fucking camera she got. Pure insanity. Literal insanity. Trash my mom's house up here. Probably trash the one down in Granada. I got tons of photos too. I'm putting them on social media for pub for public publicity and so I can easily uh, transfer them to both phones.
Yeah, look at this shit. Insanity, bro. Look at this. Did you hear that? Look at this pathetic shit. Keep setting it off, hoping something will happen. Well, it's not going to happen. You're done. Okay, so... Boy, has a lot happened in the past day. And, uh... Truthfully, because this is just a video, it's all hearsay as far as uh, lawyers are concerned, but Linda knows. She's not stupid. You know, she knows. Um, yesterday, I counted it. I made 90 phone calls yesterday, either missed, received, or dialed. 90 phone calls yesterday regarding Linda. I went to the to my mom's house in West Seneca. Because the other house, I'm, I'm in the process of figuring out if it truly has been sold. Because if it hasn't, I'm going to change the locks on that house in a couple days. And uh, I'm not going to put this video up until the locks on that house are changed. Because then, I just got off the phone with my lawyer. He's writing up, what is it called? It's it's called something, but it's 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 the formal eviction notice that I ever mentioned in previous videos. That uh, Linda will be forcibly removed from that house if necessary, and both the houses in New York will be locked as well. And this video wasn't going up until because only one house is locked as I, as I'm speaking right now. But I, I can even say it now because I'm not going to put this up until the other house is locked. But it's Thursday. This Thursday we're going to lock the house and paying a locksmith to do it. So I opened up my other mom's house. And if you go on my Instagram, King Chain is God, you can see I, I posted pictures of the state that Linda left the house in. And it was fucking disgusting. Also, I have a video on there. And I actually, I have a second video. I'm going put, to be putting up this video on Thursday. And... Another video, that I took videos of the police walking away from the house. I took videos of the camera system I took down that my mom bought that Linda added her account to, which I, actually it's funny. I, I, I emailed Simply Safe. I called Simply Safe. I gave them a serial number on, on the modem of, of the security system. And uh, I, they told me to email this person and they'll see if they can get into the account for me. So I'm about to get access to the cameras as well. And when I went to my, when I got in my mom's house, there was a, there was a, a router in there, a Wi-Fi router. And on the side, the, the password was there. I entered the password. It was correct. I connected both my phones. Well, about two hours later, I came back to the house because I let my phones charge there. And it said incorrect password. So I, I speculated what I just found out today. I called Spectrum today. And actually, it, it asked the, the robot before it transferred me to customer service. The robot asked for a phone number. I used my mom's phone number first. It said this is not tied to any accounts. Then I used Linda's phone number. And guess what? That got me through to a customer service representative. And they didn't tell me it was Linda, but they said somebody called um, who, who, who claimed they were my mom. This is what, this is what Spectrum customer service said. They, they claimed they were my mom. And I know it's not my mom because my mom can barely use the phone we gave her. Barely. Use the phone we gave her. She doesn't answer it at all. So it was not my mom who called Spectrum Services. And uh, she's in a she's in a, a rehab in Fort Myers, Florida. That is so hard to get a hold of. That rehab is so hard to get a hold of. Um, that's another thing we're doing too. Either Friday or Saturday or sometime in the next week or two. Mom's coming back. She's coming back to Buffalo. And we're not going to say which hospital she's going to. But... Uh, I might, I might not even put this video up and the second video up until uh, until my mom's back. And we're having one of my mom's uh, old lawyers revoke Linda's power of attorney and either give me or my mom the power of attorney. So it's over. So even if Linda doesn't get charged with a crime, at the very least she will be she will be out of out of the picture and we won the case regardless. But the detective said he's not going to close his case for another year. Anyways. I also took I also took uh, videos inside my mom's house, which is uh, going to be the second video I just mentioned. That I'll be posting this video in the second video as soon as we get my mom back to Buffalo, and as soon as the locks on both houses up here are changed and Linda's out of the third house down in Florida. 
And uh, my all of my mom's jewelry is gone. The safe, which I know my dad didn't take, is gone. So that means Linda has it, or somebody of her of her relative has it. Um, and uh, my, all my mom's fur coats are gone. All her all, all her all her expensive fur coats are gone, and it's all on video. I mean that that house was 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 almost bare, and all the stuff that was left there, it was trash. There was a plate of mold. There was so much fucking shit. And if you go on my Instagram, King Shane is God, you'll see it. A plate of mold. A nasty toilet bowl. Ashes in, in the bathroom sink. Cigarette butts in a bowl. She was smoking in my mom's house. I knew that was what was going on. She was smoking and drinking in my mom's houses. Now, I gotta use the bathroom, but that's all I wanna say for this video, really. But, uh, yeah, th there's a lot going on. And until it's all finalized, which it's gonna happen in the next week or two, I will not be posting this video. But, uh, I can't wait to post it, bro. Because, oh, it's gonna, it feels that much better. But, yeah, Lin so basically, to, to, to summarize it, Linda stole my mom's jewelry, stole my mom's fur coats, fucking changed the internet password, um, had a security system set up, which I have the security system. My, my lawyer is going to, to kick her out of the house down in Florida as soon as we have the locks changed on all houses up here in New York, which two, which uh, one out of the two houses already has changed. Oh, and by the way, if she, if she goes into that other house, I have a camera set up there. It, it will be burglary. It will be burglary if she goes in that house. I will also uh, be informing Linda that she has a certain amount of time to get her to come back to that house that I locked up, get her belongings that are hers, and get the fuck out. So, let me see how much time we got left on this. Uh, six, okay. But yeah, no, it's, it's, it's crazy, dude. It's fucking crazy what's going on with this shit. But, uh, I think that's all I got. If I forgot anything, when I do upload this video, it will be in the description. Peace. Love. Or, love. And, uh, fuck this cunt. <laughs> well, 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 Linda Kite. <coughs> <clears throat> Both houses are locked. Here's a pile of keys. Let me listen to that rattle. Um, yeah. So you're out. You're out of both houses up here. And now uh, my lawyer's getting a call, and he will be uh, filing with the court. Uh, unlawful detainer is what it was called. I forgot in the, in the video I made before, and this is this all is not getting released for a couple more weeks. But when it when it does get released, it's gonna feel so good for knowing that you're gonna be watching this. But uh, yeah, the houses are uh, they're locked, and I have all the video proof of everything. I have I have a 15 minute video, which this will probably get pasted at the end of a 15 minute video of all the shit you did, all the shit you took, everything. It's 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 documented. You're fucked. Get out. All right, I have to take this video just in case Linda breaks in, but these, these are the locks. See, they're brand new. If they're different, uh, then that'll mean trouble. Uh, take the locks up front. Just the one lock. This, this is the old door handle. It's still there. This is a new deadbolt. So that's new. And then I just have to take a video, and I'm going to take a couple pictures of this. Because I'm afraid I didn't change the locks on the back uh, back door to the garage. But what's interesting about this door, this one has a lock on it as well that opens. But it has one of these locks. One of these. And also has a lock down here that can't be opened from the uh, that can't be opened from the outside. So if either one of these are broken, that means Linda or one of her family members or even just somebody broke into this house. So yeah. Thanks for watching. I also unplugged the internet because uh, Linda's not getting free internet, period. She's not going to walk up to this house, call Spectrum, have them reactivate it, and then mooch off, off the internet that my mom's probably paying for. So I unplugged it. Fuck it. If I can't have it, nobody can. All right, before I connect to the McDonald's Wi-Fi to get to uh, the Spectrum store... I just want to say, Linda, you're fucked. I, we just went in the Highview house and did the inventory of all the stuff that was there, and it was a lot of pictures. We have pictures of all the shit you left behind, the cigarette butts, the fucking plate of mold, the empty, disgusting, moldy fridge, all that shit. Tons of pictures. I mean, like, probably 100 pictures. Um, 
But uh, even the, the I, I brought a, an attorney with me. I'm not going to say who, but I brought an attorney with me to do the inventory. And she said, by looking at the house and judging by what you've done, you are going to jail, Linda. You are going to go to jail. Regardless, you are going to jail. And at the very least, you are not going to have any contact with my family ever again. Period. Stay the fuck away from my mom. Both houses are locked now. Everything's being dealt with. Slowly but surely, it's getting done. We're closing in. Legally, we're closing in. It, 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 a storm is, is, is almost done. Bye, Linda. All right, so I'm taking another video, and I'm going to take it real quick uh, before the cop shows up. But, yeah, I'm having a cop come here and document all this shit. The fur coats, the jewelry, all the bullshit, the mold, everything. It's going to be all documented. I'm going to record the police officer pulling up to the house, too, and, and walking up. I'm going to record it all. This is fucked, Linda. The cops have come here. Because obviously, you know, you can't hear through my phone right now because I'm not paranoid like you. So, yeah, the cops uh, the cops are showing up here. And by the time this is posted, it will have already been dealt with. Because I might post this today, January 11th, uh, 2024, Thursday. Oh, uh, yeah, it's going up. Bye. Here they come. He just made a loop around. I won't actually let him see me recording him, but, you know, he's pulling up. That's him right there. That's the police right there. They're pulling up. Good shit. Yep, there he is. Yep, that's it. All right, peace. That's the cops. It's being documented right now. Bye, Linda. And that's them leaving. And it's on a... I'm not going to flip it over, but it's documented. Good shit. Look, I'm going to be honest with Linda and Linda's lawyers. They didn't do much, but what they did get, and what Linda will probably be getting a call uh, soon. This is the last video. It's going to be at the ass end of the uh, of this this this. It's, this video is probably going to be 20, 25 minutes long with with all the, with all the shit put together. Maybe even 30. It's going to be like a half hour video. But uh, yeah, it's all documented. Me going in the houses, me changing the locks. They, they're okay with it. I show them the guardianship papers. But uh, the jewelry and the fur coats are are on file now. And, and the safe as well. It's all on file that it was stolen. And, I, and like you saw in the previous video, the cops gave me an actual like like record thing. And in the next couple of days, they will be filing it on record. So actually, I'm going to wait. This video will be going up Saturday or Sunday. Probably Saturday, though. It'll go up Saturday. But uh, yeah, Linda, oh boy. Even the cops said, called you a, a con artist when I explained the whole situation. You're a con artist. Bye. Wow, Linda, so the guy at the Spectrum store told me to grab all the stuff and bring it to the store. It's official. They're going to put my name on the account and remove yours. You're fucked. You are so done. You have no idea. These, these guardianship papers are getting me far. And I'm just going to add this to uh, to the end of uh, this video I'm going to mash up. It's going to be uh, probably an hour long. Just all this shit against Linda. <clears throat> um, 
But as we speak right now, it is February 8th. My mom has been dead for three days. And Linda is still squatting in my mom's townhouse in Florida. This is actually, I counted all the seconds. This is going to be exactly an hour long video. Um, but Linda is still squatting in my mom's townhouse after she fucking died. And I, I may have mentioned this in other power of attorney videos, but I just want to make this clear that Linda still has my mom's fucking cars. She has my mom's 1998 red dodge dakota fucking sport pickup truck she still has that and i did go to the dmv and confirm that that is still my mom's name and still being paid for so linda has has a stolen vehicle on her hands and my mom the the car that my mom bought down in florida it's a four-door sedan bmw it's a luxury car linda has been driving that as well and one of my mom's friends who was originally on linda's side had the car in her possession and linda fucking went and took it Oh, hold on, hold on. You know, it pisses me off because every time I try to do something important, some obnoxious motherfucker's got to go by in a, in a fucking motorcycle or a dog has to bark. It's fucking annoying. You're fucking obnoxious. Jesus Christ. But anyways, Linda has both my mom's cars to fucking put a, put a cherry on top of this shit pie. Holy fuck. And uh, it's going to happen, but um, the executor of the will, my godfather, Rick Rutkowski, is going to be the one who evicts her. Because my mom's townhouse down in Florida that Linda's squatting in is in the name of, of the trust. So the executor and uh, trustee of the will, uh, which both are Rick Rutkowski, has to, uh, has to evict her. But she will be evicted, and, and I, I, I hope you guys know... That even though there's a chance she can get away with this, at, at the very least, she will not be getting any of my mom's money any further. Uh, I will be receiving the bulk of her, her estate. And uh, everybody lives happily ever after, except for my fucking mom. My mom's fucking dead now because of Linda. And uh, it's fucked. But yeah, we're, we're going to, I'm going to my mom's trust lawyer tomorrow and sign the papers before I even think about putting this video up, uh, which is not going up until everything is said and done and my guardianship has, has, has uh, officially been closed. But uh, yeah, yeah, um, what the fuck? I'm gonna crap these videos together and this will be an hour and like th maybe two or three minutes, peace.